Well, good morning, stamping friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and I'm so glad you're joining me today of all days because I am going to be sharing things with you that I received from on stage, and that is a big Stampin' Up! event. We used to call it convention, but now we call it on stage. And um, oh gosh, I have a box full of things, and I unpacked, but I have the box. There's no order to it, so it's going to be very random when I show you things. I'm just going to pull it out of the box. But first of all, I wanted to show you things that I want to show from this angle because they're so large. This is the bag that held all of our little goodies that we got from Stampin' Up. It is a logo bag. They have Stampin' Up everywhere, all these little zippers and things. And then the cool thing about this is it is a backpack. And so for me, who has a bad back, and I'll show you in just a little bit, maybe if I back up. <laughs> so let me see if I can lift my leg. I have a boot on, and I have um, plantar fasciitis, but there is a tear in it. So it's a little bit worse case than the average. So if anybody has ideas, I've tried everything already. I think I'm down to two things I haven't tried, acupuncture and spinning platelets, something like that. But anyway, um, it didn't slow me down. I had a little scooter, however, for compensating for the scooter. Now my back is a little out of whack. So anyway, I'm living on Advil today, but that's not gonna stop me from sharing because I'm so excited to share with you. All right, so back to the backpack. The thing about this cool backpack is, I'm just gonna zip the top open. Um, it's kind of hard to show this, and some people who are, they, who are there may not even know this yet because one of my team members discovered this. This bag is super deep, you know, like so we'd put things in there and everything would be at the bottom. However, she found there's a Velcro little shelf here and it, it just makes it so it only comes down to here now. And then in this little zipper thing, wait till you see what this does. There's pockets everywhere, by the way. This holds, at first I thought it was a lunchbox, but it looks like a little doggy door. And when you take that out, another zipper, and there's logo everywhere. We love anything that says Stampin' Up. When you open it, it's like a little divider thing with where you can put all your tools. And then the nice thing is you can pull these out and make them go any way to make anything fit. Like if you had ink pads or just something that you wanted to customize to go in there. So it's just really neat. And again, you can get it accessed by just unzipping that little front thing. So I thought that was really cool. I love backpacks even more so than bags because I can put that equal you know, weight on my shoulders so it doesn't hurt as much. I also want to show you the catalog. I'll show you up close when I switch my camera around, but isn't that pretty? Someone said it looks like the cover of a Girl Scout magazine, <laughs> but I just think it's so pretty with that luscious green and um, just more of a natural look and just people getting together and stamping and sharing and eating and fellowship. So I thought that was really neat. So I'm gonna get that bound so I don't ruin it from paging through it so many times. For those of you who want to join the team, you can pre-order from it in April and you can use that on your starter kit. And then for those of you who aren't demonstrators and customers, you can order from it in May. So it's coming up, but we always get everything early. So that's kind of a little perk. The other thing that I wanna show you from this view is this cool sweatshirt that I got. You can see it says Stampin' Up! on here. And I'll turn around, it is a hoodie. And I love this part and it hangs nice and low. I love lower shirts that cover my bottom. And so, and the way that I earned this was, oh, this is, just probably one of my most valuable um, gifts that I got. Um, they gave it away to, if you hit the top 50 in the company or by country, the top 50 in, um, this was for the United States. I was number 50, so I just made it by the skin of my teeth. But what an honor to get, um, you know, above and beyond treats that everyone got. And we do have to add that the disclaimer that um, less than 1% earn this. So we always have to throw that in. Otherwise we get put in Facebook jail. So I wanna add that, that it's not a typical um, award and very easy to achieve, but I was blessed to have a great year last year. And this is um, one of the perks that went with it. So I got to walk the stage for that and then for some other categories and then also for earning the trip for next time to Mexico. So that is all I wanted to share from this view. Now I'm gonna share with you up close things. So let me turn my camera around and there's more goodies to come. Hold tight. First, I wanna share with you the treats that I made for my team and some of my friends. I found these cute little leather-like purses on Amazon and it came with a silk ribbon. And then I just added a little on-stage tag and attached that. Once you open up the purse, you'll find all the goodies that you would find in a typical purse. You can find a package of tissue. There's also a lipstick container that has a ballpoint pen inside and there's bling on the end of that. It's really cute. I also got some chocolate. You can see the chocolate 
coins and then the ones that look like money there's actually chocolate inside of that as well and then of course some lifesavers so that was really fun to hand out and i hope my team and friends enjoyed those i can put the links to the purses on my blog if you want to check that out okay let me share with you the catalog one more time so you can see it um nice and close up here. So this is our annual catalog and this is good May of 2024 through April of 2025. And the only thing we can show is the outside of it. So there's the front, there's the back and lots of pretty florals and um, the statement of the heart for Stampin' Up! is to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this we make a difference. Isn't that neat? And it pretty much sum sums up what I like to do. All right, so that is the catalog. And then, of course, everybody wonders what the new in colors are gonna be. So I'm gonna grab that sheet. We got to make a little cheat sheet that shows the in colors for the next year. Aren't they bright and fun and summery and springy? I just really, really love them. The first one is called Peach Pie. This is kind of similar to the cantaloupe we used to have, but they're not identical, but um, very close. And this is, the top is gonna be the cardstock. then this is what the ink looks like when it's stamped, and then the stamp and write marker. This one is called Petunia Pop, and this is pretty in pink, and if you've been around a while, you know that this is a returning color. It's the same exact color we used to have, so some of you may not need to purchase this because you already have it. Shy Shamrock. And then the last one is Summer Splash. And it stamped kind of different. It's not always like that. It's a little bit bubbly there. But this one is a little bit lighter than Bermuda Bay that we used to have, but darker than Coastal Cabana. So they're just really a nice assortment of colors. So those are going to be really fun to work with. Now, like I said, there's going to be no rhyme or reason to this. So hang on. This little notebook is was actually in our um, backpack that we got, one of the prizes. And I took notes and... Um, it just is a notebook that you can carry on and it's it feels like leather bound and it's just really pretty this was kind of the logo i'm not really sure what all the geometric meant it um brought up a lot of conversations and i met many new demonstrators trying to figure out what these <laughs> random shapes meant but it was cute when it all came together and they had all their dig four out all right the next thing is we got this color wheel and this has all of the stampin up colors and for those of you who may not be great at picking out colors, you can move this around and you can, you know, if you want to do an ombre look, it, it really is good at kind of combining the colors that work well together. And then also you can look at on the opposite and see what colors coordinate with um, with the people that have done research on this. So anyway, it's it's really neat. It's kind of like a waterproof plasticky thing, but I love that I can see every color that we have at a glance. So that's going to be a very valuable tool. The next thing we have is a new kit that will be coming out. They come boxed so nice, and this is called Hooray for Honeycomb Kit. And if you remember a few catalogs ago, we also had another honeycomb product. So these are the honeycombs that fold out now. Remember that you can still mail these because they will fold and, you know, collapse. And then I'm not going to open this because it'll take me forever. Whoops, sorry. Um, it'll take me forever. But you can see what all of the cards look like. There is a strawberry and a sun and a hot air balloon, so it's just really pretty. There's some bright colors, and you, everything you need is in here. The, the Baker's Twine, the Dimensionals, and so this is going to be a really popular kit. So I wanted to share that with you, and that we all got free for going. Uh, the next thing we got, we they do prize patrol, and everyone is assigned a number and let me show you the tag we got first everybody got a tag so we know who you are then we get these ribbons based on you know what you earn through the year um, this is the one that i earned and got that shirt that i'm wearing the top performer overall in the u.s then i earned the incentive trip then i also got awards for team building sales i forgot to get my other one sales team building and oh what's the other category there's one more, but I forgot to get that ribbon. Then annual sales, and um, I'm a gold elite. That's my status for Stampin' Up! Then we all got a number on here. So when they called Price Patrol number four, everyone who had a four on their tag got this. And this is one of our new designer series paper, and it's called Mediterranean Blooms. And I am going to make one of those little charts so, so you can see every color of this picture. I, that's a whole separate video that I'll do. But first, um, they put a really pretty one on top with that bright um, citrusy fruit so that's gonna be fun to work with especially this summer now I will share with you some of the cards I got and I'm just gonna whip through these 
Um, I think I pulled out all the cards. Maybe not, but if I didn't, I'll come back to them. To them. Um, this one is a slider card, and this just slides up. And look at, you can see how it's um, put together here. There's just a circle, and then this slides in there, so that's kind of fun, and you can put it on like this if you want to. It's got the cutest cow bundle. Very easy to work, but the, the fun of it is that it slides up and down. Okay, then on the inside, and that is just super cute. Let me put it together one more time so they stay together in my box. And this holy cow bundle, I believe, is carrying over. So if you didn't get it yet, it will be in the new catalog, I'm pretty sure. All right, then I got a coffee card. Of course, you know me, I love coffee. And um, oh, that was, and then she put Wink Estella on top there. And then thinking of you, isn't that pretty? She used an embossing folder and used some daubers. These are swaps that I got, and I didn't even swap. People just gave them to me. I think this is a fun fold. You pull that out using that pretty background paper. Oh, isn't that nice? So that one's really pretty. Another coffee card. I believe this is a fun fold. I love fun folds. Susie Wood. Oh, that's pretty. Ah, that's very cute. I like that one. And I also got this one. Isn't that elegant? I usually don't do this style as much. It's a little bit shabby chic, but I love when people make these kind of cards so I can share because many of my customers love this kind. And another one using our boho blue paper. And I believe if I heard right, this paper actually is carrying over and it's not typical for um, paper to carry over from catalog to catalog. So that's a added bonus. I'm sure that was a popular color this year. And then this one, of course. Oh, I love this because she made a scissors charm and I rarely get anything with my name spelled right because I have two R's in my name. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love that. That's one of my favorite ones. So that was really nice. Then I got a whole package. I think this is just a package full of funness. This is for my up-up line, Janice Waitman, who is so good to me. She gives me so many things. And I, w I didn't open it yet, but I see there's paper and glimmer paper and dots. And also I think I see instructions. Maybe it's like a little class. Maybe not though. I guess I could open it in front of you. But um, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's the Zinnia paper too and glimmer paper. Oh, okay, so here's her little note. Hope you have a latte fun. May you always leave a little glimmer wherever you go. Remember, embellishments are always the answer. Zinnias make the world happier. Take time to smell the flowers and make the world a better place one card at a time. Oh, that's adorable, I love that idea. Thank you, Janice. All right, let's keep moving on here. This, oh gosh, things are tangled up. <laughs> this is so clever. So this is from my team member, Chris Brower. Um, my door is always open for you. This is a little, like a scissors charm, or if you want to hang it on anything, really, your ribbon scissors, and then it's, um, it's stamped onto Shrinky Dink. And then she also, she told me she bought these bags with the window in already. I can't remember where she got them, but it fit perfectly. And then she filled it with goodies and fun things. And we also got, um, let's see, this cute little poster and it says, I wish you lived next door. Isn't that cute? I think she and her friend designed this and she had that made and it has the little rubber stoppers on the bottom. Oh, I just love that. I do wish she lived next door. All right, then we have, this is another stamp that everyone got. This is gonna be in the new catalog. It's kind of a big background stamp and it's made out of the real rubber leaf collection. That's gonna make a nice little background for a lot of flowers or um, you know sentiments and it'll be really fun to work with especially with our new in colors. Then, like I was saying, we were trying to figure out what those um, those little um, random designs were that everything was you know, used in the logo for this weekend. And these are the three trading pins I got. <laughs> They're cute. You could use them on a bulletin board. I never really did figure out you know, what they made, but they're cute. So that was in a little egg and everyone got that. Oh, I didn't, I can't believe I didn't eat these, but I put this in to remind me. We had a onstage plus room where you had to be silver elite and above, and anyone that went in there could get snacks all day long. Um, this Cracker Jacks was in there. Uh, this was probably the sweetest thing they had in there, so of course I had to grab some of that. Another thing we got in that room that was exclusive to those who could go in there is this beautiful mug, and it's for hot or cold. And I don't know, we stampin' up demonstrators go crazy over anything logo, so um, you know you could use it even as a pencil, pencil jar or whatever. But I just love that one can never have too many cups that say stampin' up. So that was really special. Then also because of earning that onstage elite group. Um, we got this 
private lounge area where we could go hang out. A lot of people could not figure out what this was, but how it works is when you're stamping or you know paper crafting, you can put this all the way down and then put your tools in there, like your bone folder and your take your pick tool, anything. And then rather than taking it out when you get home, you just pull this up so it fits. Oh wait, actually this goes even lower. Yeah, there you go. So see how low it goes and then Tools like this can all fit in there and they'll stay up straight. But when you're done, you just lift this up and then you zip it shut and then you can travel with it. So that's pretty neat, especially like my blending brushes. Sometimes that gets the inside of the other bag I use kind of inked up. So this one is nice because um, it can fit in there. The inside is dark and I'll definitely be using this. But it was so funny because everyone was wondering what that little tool was. Okay, this is <laughs> more randomness. My roommate was Pat Brannon and um, we do little pillow gifts for your roommate. And so the last night this was on there and I love peeps. I don't eat peeps a lot, but I love decorating with them. So I can't believe she had it monog or my name personalized here. And you know, I, <laughs> I pulled this out. I thought it was cotton candy. I'm just kidding. I knew it wasn't, but I pretended like I was going to eat it. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. I have one of those tiered trays and I'll put that on there. Here's another cute little 3D item. If you love that cutest cow bundle. This has Moo Tails, which is a chocolate caramel, I believe, and that's really cute. I love that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, this was another item from Pat. However, <laughs> it was cuter when I got it all done up, but it tipped over, plus I ate over half the candy out. <laughs> but isn't this cute? The shred was filled in here, and Pat was actually born two days before um, St. Patrick's Day, and so um, she, and being her name is Pat, so she really gets into this holiday, but I have a tiered tray that I put this type of thing on, and so I can't wait to add this. So it was just a cute little um, uh, bucket of gold for, for St. Patrick's Day, so that was really cute. That was another one of my pillow gifts. Next, I have this little goodie bag. This is from my upline, Barbara Welch, and um, it's a darling little bag. Feels like leather um, handles here, and then inside there was, of course, we all love chocolate. And she used kind of the bee theme here. So a notebook with a pen. We got cute, cute little socks with this. We got tissue. I always need these. They're too cute to use though. I just like to sit and stare at it. And this little suitcase, you may have seen this before. I've used this a couple times as well, but she filled it with, oh my goodness, these teeny tiny files. And let's see, there's some gum in there and a Purell and what's that? other one that might be more chocolate but that that was cute we all had our suitcases with us this is a beautiful card using the daisy set and she highlighted the onstage logo and last but not least i'm pretty sure that yeah this is a vacuum for when we get all that glitter and little paper pieces around our work area this will be nice to have i actually don't have one of these so um this is just a nice little tool addition to my stash so i'm going to put that all right back in the container it came and thank you so much barbara and the next thing I got was from Debbie Rodriguez. She's also on my team. And the best things in life aren't things, they're friends like you. And some of this is missing because I had to dive in right away. In fact, one of them, let me find the tag. <laughs> I did save the tag. Um, oh gosh, let me find it. All right, well, as I keep digging, I know I'll eventually find it, but there was a cute little sweet tart with a bunny on, and the sweet tarts had bunnies on it, so it was a themed gift. Then this is cute. She's really good at making themed treat things, and this says Nuts About You, filled with nuts. Isn't that fun? And I also got, these are coffee. Um, coffee, they're actually coffee beans covered with chocolate. And also, this is just a little... It's, I don't know how you describe it. It's just something that you carry in your purse and it's just a, like a little metal or yeah, like a metal um, little gadget. And it says great leaders inspire greatness in others, a little pocket hug. And it even came in a little container. I thought that was cute. And all sorts of goodies. There's more in here. What else? Oh, and where, oh, where'd the other part go? Oh no, this had the honey thing on it. So um, if you have a jar of honey, you just use that to put it on. And then, like I said, that huge box of sweet tarts that <laughs> I kept eating it during the show or during the convention. And by the end, my tongue was raw. Do you remember as a kid eating those um, those um, things, that, those sweet tarts that just make your tongue hurt at the end? This is a cute little calendar card. I love that. And I know this will stand up when I take it out. So that's very cute. Using our designer series paper. Um Oh, this was on, oh, I, this was on, I believe, Pat's gift. See how I told you it was randomness. This was the tag that went on that little pot of gold. So isn't that fun? She's so creative. All right, the next one is I've got a 
pen from one of my team members, Mimi. Isn't that cute? And it has all her information there, so in her um, website. So that was a cute little treat as well. I love getting pens. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is really cute. This is unique. It is coffee rub. So this is from my teammate Terry Brummagem, and she made, or she, I think her sister helped her, and it's a rub that you put on meat, and it has coffee in it. So I can't wait to try this. And then it's in a cute little container, and this is actually plastic. I've never seen plastic ones. I only see the glass, and I'm always afraid to mail those. And then she used our product here, the new designer series paper, and the. Um, Latte, love, sweet. So I thought that was really cute. I love that. She knows I love coffee. And um, let's see what else. These are, they're not the in colors. Everyone thought, oh, we got in color pens. But these are just a really cute palette. And a lot of them are similar to our in colors, but not exact. But they're just, um, you know, ballpoint pens. So, but I thought they were so cute. And everything has our logo on for our weekend. Then I also got this cute little charm from... She's not a team member, but she hung with our team, Karen Burns, and isn't this cute? And it kind of highlights that we were in Texas together and um, inspire and has all these beads. So just a really, really cute charm for one of my many scissors or whatever I choose to put that on. She is very talented that way. And then, let's see, this was, I believe, from, is this Jean? I can't remember, but um, it's some tea in here. Oh no, this was another girl. Um, and it, it's herbal tea and it's a little pocket and just a really cute way to put a pack of tea in there. Then I got, let's see what else do we have here? Oh, more bar, <laughs> bars from that one room I told you about. Oh yeah, this one was from Jean, Jean Staten. She made a cute little, I, she said, no, make sure you use it because it's um, lip balm that we need during the weekend and hand sanitizer, but it's too cute to take apart. I wanted to show you, but I'll definitely use this because these things are staple in my home. And she even put Wink Estella on the B wing. So isn't that cute? It got a little bit squashed in the box, but um, Jean is also very talented. And let's see, Jenny Portanova, look at how sweet she is. She gave me a magnetic die storage stand. So I believe it's just like this picture. Um, can you see that? It will um, stand up and you can store your dies on it. Oh, there's a knot in there. I might have to just show you the, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to try to get that knot out or maybe, oh, wait, maybe I can get it. Uh, maybe not. Yep, I'm going to have to wait. But can you see, it, it kind of looks like an iPad, how it flips up, and it's magnetic. I've never seen anything like that, but you know how sometimes these little dies get away from us, and I've actually lost some. Oh, here's a, an even better picture, but that is really going to come in handy, so I love this. Thank you, Jenny, so much. Let's see, what else? Um, I'm getting down to the bottom here. Let's see. I got a pin. We love kits. That's from Stampin' Up. We got free paper pumpkin. Um, this is kind of our craft mat sheet. I, I tend to use my glass mat now, but sometimes I need the paper ones as well. But it's just so cute with all the little animals. So that was really nice as well. And let's see what else is in here. Um, yeah, I got a few more things. I got... I, I didn't put this one together because I didn't have adhesive, but we got to make our own cards from one of the card kits and Stampin' Up! in the new catalog is going to have quite a few of these where you just punch things out and they coordinate well. I picked up my favorite and that was the Misty Moonlight and I can use all these little things to embellish it and to you know add dimensionals but I needed to think harder than make it on the spot <laughs> and so um, I'm going to work with that but I'll try to remember to show you my finished product but there's so many um, different patterns that you can use but they come with coordinating envelopes and um, it's just really a nice addition to our catalog especially for those of you who like fast and easy kind of like our memories and more kits so that'll be really fun I wish I could show you the rest of the designs but we could only choose one out of the packet and I can't show you the inside of the card yet so or I mean of the catalog so all right the next thing is I got cute little um paper clip with because I'm from Arizona, it had kind of an Arizona theme, so that's really cute with a tag. And uh, this stamp set is going to be retiring the taco set, and she added just a blend, probably granny apple green, just to add some lines in there to make it even more realistic. Very, very cute. And then I also got, oh, we got a pin that says on stage, which represents our convention we had. Love that. I'll probably put that on my backpack. Oh, I found the tag that had the sweet tarts on. <laughs> That was from Debbie. So that was the first treat I ate. So fun. And I think that finishes it up. Here's one more tag. Oh, this probably went on that same one, the Easter one, I think. So, no, I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, man, it's so hard to keep things together. But when I go to the 
that event. It's almost like you have to bring an empty box along because there's so many things. Well, thank you again so much, my friends, for joining me on this little adventure and sharing with you some things I got from convention or on stage, I should say. I hope you join me again next week. I show up live on Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m. Arizona time, and I love sharing with you. All right, you guys have a great rest of your week, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye, everyone. 